Hey, everybody. It's Bishop Barron. It's my very happy responsibility to talk to you about this beautiful uh, journal of evangelization culture. This is the sixth edition, and they just keep topping themselves. The, the design team does such a marvelous job. This one features so many beautiful, as always, it's beautifully presented, beautifully laid out. The theme of this one is the theological virtue of hope. And let me just highlight a, a couple things. First of all, this marvelous interview with Mark Golley. You know, Mark uh, just recently came into the church. He was the editor of Christianity Today, which is one of the flagship productions of um, evangelical Christianity, founded by Billy Graham himself. And so his story of, of how he came to the Catholic faith was just marvelous to read. So that's in here. Again, beautifully uh, illustrated. I'll draw your attention. Secondly, look at this. William Havlicek's article on the gospel according to Van Gogh. So here's our ethos of, of the true and the beautiful. That particular one is from the Art Institute of Chicago. When I used to go there, uh, I'd always make a, a beeline for that uh, self-portrait of, of Van Gogh. But look throughout the article. Gorgeous illustrations from Vincent Van Gogh. There's Starry Night. I just saw that when I was in New York oh, a little over a year ago at the Museum of Modern Art. Look at this, too. Boy, I'm excited about this. Uh, Peter Seewald is uh, a German journalist, but he's become sort of the George Weigel for uh, Benedict XVI. He's the great biographer and commentator on Benedict XVI. If you see those book-length interviews with, with Benedict, they're so marvelous and so interesting. They're done by Peter Seewald. Well, we have him in here now, Benedict XVI on hope. But look at the illustrations, too, are just gorgeous. In this, um, in this article. There's one at the end here of, of Benedict that I really like, this, this painted image of Benedict. Beautiful interview, too. But for my money, worth the price of admission uh, is this article toward the end. It's an interview with our own uh, Roseanne Lee. Roseanne, you know, is director of our um, graphic design and creative side of Word on Fire. She was a student of mine many years ago at Notre Dame when I was there as a visiting scholar. And she tells the story here beautifully of how she came from that experience eventually to working with us. But it's an interview, it's kind of about Roseanne, her own life and her own family and development. But she reminded me here of Flannery O'Connor in the sense that it sheds light in every direction. <laughs> As she talks about her own life, her own spiritual journey, it's just illuminating. There's a little flower who plays a big role in her spiritual life. Love this picture too, by the way. See these? All those young people working for Word on Fire, that's there in the Chicago office. There's the future of the church, something I'm really proud of, but so many young people have been drawn to Word on Fire. But you want to get some real uplift, there's Roseanne, some real uplift, some real illumination, read through that wonderful uh, interview. Gosh, look at this thing, the size of it, the, the complexity of it in, in the good sense, the beauty of it. Get it. Now, the only way to get this, you can't buy it, it's not subscription. You've got to join the Word on Fire Institute. Along with that, you get so many other benefits, but I think one of the best things you get is this beautiful journal. So sign up for the Institute. Become a member of this evangelical army that we're trying to form to go out and to meet our culture in a positive way. And as a bonus, you get this beautiful journal. And God bless you.